mislaid. And when on stage playing scenes with other people, you do. Ooh. I know it's your first show and it's hard for you. Uh, do you mean that? That's or that's? <laughs> <laughs> we'll buzz it later. Yeah, excuse me. Uh, do you have any notes for me or can I go? One minute, Miss Vanessa. Because when you're finished giving acting lessons. I saw your last film, Miss Vanessa. And you could have used a few. Yes, Mr. Craig, please, if I leave now, I can just make it to the dentist. I got this upper plate. In a minute! A wobble case. Curve. Uh, all right, no, we'll see the bobs. But I have a question about my health. <coughs> With psychiatric help, you'll be fine. <laughs> First call, all principles. Let's go. Leave room for me.
child, you know what, if I had two dollars, hmm, it's a lot of money, I think I'd just retire and never do a lick of work again. Oh, um, Paul, Paul, do you suppose Mr. Graham's got two dollars? <laughs>
Yes, Angel, I understand. Yes, darling. Yes, love. Yes. Well, I'm blowing you two kisses. Understand? I'm blowing you two kisses. <laughs> oh, well, Hattie, uh, why don't you take those roses to this ladies' dressing room? With my compliments. I see it, I see it. What is it, the Hope Diamond or the Glings of Him? Uh, did I show you the star sapphire Harrison sent me? It was his mother's engagement ring. Mm, his mother must have worn it on her big toe. <laughs> and now it's mine. Congratulations. Do you know what day this is today, Fred? Mm. It's our anniversary, and you forgot. What anniversary? Well, the first anniversary of our divorce. Ah. Well, if you must know, I was going to get you a cactus. But no money, because I know you're rolling it. Mm -hmm. Every night before I go to bed, that's exactly what I do. Roll in my mind. It's wonderful for the hips. Ah, uh, Hollywood. Swimming pools, avocado ranches. While I put every penny I can scrape, borrow, or steal into my Cyrano in Paris. My magnum opus. And I was a use. And you can lose on Saturday. Four glorious performances. Well, then you know it was a general strike. Uh, you couldn't have been that bad. <laughs> oh, Lily. Oh, with this little creature. Harrison Howe. No, but that's you with the age of two. Bottom is up. Cute little fellow. Why didn't I keep it? Oh, here. You can have this, too. What's this? A cork? Our first bottle of champagne. A wedding breakfast. Mm, in my apartment. <laughs> That one room of yours over the Armenian bakery? Well, you're a violent husband. You didn't even have a room. Why do you think I married you? <laughs> that was the summer we played the Barter Theater in Virginia. <laughs> and they gave you a hat. We lived on that hat all winter, you forget. Uh, you forget that I got a job reading tea leaves in a gypsy tube room opposite Macy's. And you forget I demonstrated sheathing soap at Woolworths. That's right. That's how I spent my honeymoon in Walworth watching you shave. We weren't married, did we? Hmm. Yes, dear, we were. The mother was coming to stay with us. But right after we closed on the road in that little Viennese opera that was set in uh, Vienna, but the costumes were Dutch. Uh, so were the salaries. But I can have sworn it was right after we closed on the road in that flock revival of the Prince of Potsdam. Did. I was understudying the lead. I was the youngest understudy in the business. <laughs> no, dear. We were both in the chorus. Well, there was a waltz in it, remember? Something about a, a bar. Dum -de dum, dum -de dum. Yeah, mother, you look perishing, Luna. You have made me the happiest of me. Your highness. Thunderbar! Thunderbar!
psychoanalytical certificate. But they may have just been overwhelmed in the meeting. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's it, sir. People feel the magnetism of your personality, sir, on stage and on. Molly, well, you are not only the finest dresser I have ever had, you are also a true connoisseur of the theater. Well, thank you, Mr. Man. Here you are. The little my flower. <laughs> yes, sir. Did you put the note in? Yes, sir. Good. And I'm sure you gave them to Miss Lane personally. Miss Lane? I thought they were for Miss Vanessa. Miss Vanessa. Don't tell me. You dribbling idiot! Well, I'm sorry, sir. I haven't been myself since Blue Blood was fashioned in third grade. Call you more! You didn't think I would. Oh, Fred, they're so beautiful. On stage, good luck. Come on, let's go. Uh, I can't, my hands are freezing. No, Lily, I'm not going to waltz. Oh, Fred, do you think they'll still like me? After all, I've been away from the theater for a oh, such a long time. Miss Lily, I found it. Here's the note that came with the flowers. We can't even do it. You're not going to read that now, are you? I'll tell you what I want. <laughs> <laughs> to Lily, the only woman I ever loved. Oh. The only artist. After the show. Oh, Fred, darling, do you really mean it? With all my love. Well, then that's just where it's going. <laughs> oh, I'm not nervous. I'm not going to whoops. But I'll never call you a bastard again, Fred, darling. Never. You will, my dear. <laughs> Find a 
husband. I would be most liberal. A husband? A devil!
any offense. No. If without more words, you will get to your hands. My reason. But the streets is free for him as for you. The true key is What happy wind blows you to Padua from over Rome? Uh, such wind as scatters young men from the world to seek their fortunes. Farther than at home. And you? I came to study. I am glad that you must combine your resolve to suck the sweets of sweet philosophy, the mathematics, and the botany. Fall to them as your stomach serves. But a profit grows where it is no pleasure taken. In brief, sir, study. As for me, I come to wipe it willfully and black war. You willfully then happily and black war. If my wife has a bag of gold, do I care if the bag be all? I come to wipe it willfully.
daughter named Catherine. <laughs> Lie of a gentleman, Gorgorola, sir, that upon hearing of her beauty and wit, her affability and bashful modesty, her wondrous quality and mild behavior. No, Fred, you bastard! <laughs> mild behavior. I'm bold to make myself a forward guest in your house so that my eyes may bear witness to this reward. Signor Battista, my business asketh haste, and every day I cannot come to woo. Uh, good sir, I am afraid my daughter Catherine is not for your turn, the more my grief. I see you do not mean to part with her. Oh, mistake me not, sir. Or else you like not of my company. Oh, sir, you are most uh, well. Well, then. What will be my dowry with her to wife? Oh. Uh, after my death, uh, uh, the one half of my lands. The further part. Oh, so be it. <laughs> and in possession. 20,000 crowns. Uh, no. Uh, 30 father! <laughs> <laughs> and with this dowry, I will assure her of her widowhood, be it that she survives me. Let special leave be therefore drawn between us, so that covenants may be kept on either hand. Go, sir, get thee to a notary. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, oh, but that special thing is well obtained. That is my love. Or is that all and all? Could I but see thy face? Why, sir, tis but a face like any other. Aye, there's the rub. <laughs> Thank you. 
And when two raging fires meet together, they can consume that which feeds their fury. I will attend her here when she comes and woo her with some spirits. If she bid me pack, I'll give her thanks. I bid me pack. Twerk on that special face. Excuse 
Christ has been an inspiration to me in my work. What a true one. What a performer. Is it true, Miss Vanessa, that you're contemplating quitting all this high type entertainment? Yes, I am. Oh, Miss Vanessa, the show must go on. I love just transferring the weight from one saw to the other. <laughs> interest in the success of this show, as well as personal. And Miss Vanessa, you got to play this show out tonight, and at least to the end of the week, when Mr. Graham settles his debt to honor. Are you threatening me? Miss Vanessa, let's talk it over. Fred! This is an outbreak. <laughs> Thank you. 